Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the snake farm of Queen Sawapa Memorial Institute. This snake farm was farmed in 1923 by the first director, Dr. Leopold Lobert, who realized that venomous snake bite is one of our public health problems. So he built this snake farm for keeping and feeding venomous snakes, for extract venom from the snakes and use that venom to produce anti-venom serum. Now this snake farm is already 100 years old and is the second oldest snake farm in the world. Now we can produce seven types of antivenom that include the Siamese Cobra, King Cobra, Bandit Crate, Malayan Crate, Russell Viper, Malayan Pit Viper, and the White Wing Pit Viper. But now we not to keep the venomous snakes, but also non-venomous snakes for educating our people and visitors like you to see and know about snakes. In Thailand, we have more than 200 species of the snakes but only about 60 varieties that are venomous. Around 30 of them live out in the sea, so-called venomous sea snakes, and the rest are venomous snakes that live on land. Today, we would like to show you many varieties of snakes that are not too dangerous for you and for our snake handlers. We will show you how to catch them. At the last program, you will meet the lovely Burmese python that you can touch and hold and take the photo with it. So please wait a moment, we are going to take the first name of our demonstration today. And this is the first name of our demonstration today. It is a king cobra. It's the longest venomous snake of the world. When fully grows, this snake can attain the length of 3 to 5 meters. The longest king cobra used to be found in the world was found in Malaysia. When it's alive, that snake attains the length of 5.7 meters and it has hold the title of the longest venomous snake of the world until the present day. King Cobra live only in the forest. This snake feeds on the other smaller snake, so called the snake eater. When it is poisonous, it can display its defensive behavior by lifting it up high and that can up to one third of its whole length and then expand the hood. The hood of King Cobra is look slightly different from the hood of Cobras. The hood of these things is look long but narrow, while the hood of Cobra is shorter but wider and easier to see. And normally, this thing does not perform the warning sound. When the King Cobra bites, it normally bites and hang on to the victim. That's not easy to let go. Sometimes the King Cobra can hang on the victim for almost a minute. But anyway, it doesn't mean it's love you, okay? <laughs> it just takes time for ejecting the venom. And when it is a large snake like this and can hang on, it allows it the time to inject the large amount of the venom. That can kill the victims in the short period of time. The venom of this snake acts on the nervous system. Its action will inhibit the signal from the nerve to the muscles or lead to the systemic paralysis. The victim will cannot move and finally has a diaphragmatic paralysis, stop breathing and die. Moreover, the venom of this snake can destroy the cells, lead to cell necrosis or the bitten area. Okay, and now, this is the time to show you how to catch the king cobra by their hands. These hands, your hands. <laughs> ยอมแหน่ต้องต้องเอาเนี่ยนะครับไปด้วยมือเปล่าๆนะครับขอบคุณมากเลยขอบคุณมากเลยขอบคุณมากเลยขอบคุณมากเลยขอบคุณมากเ
The cobra is a well-known venomous snake of Thailand. These snakes can be found in the lowland area throughout the country, and the cobra also found in the city that is burning in Phnom Penh or in Bangkok too. Because in the previous time, many areas in Phnom Penh used to be the agricultural areas. So we have the snake in the city before. But when the time passed and we built the city to be places, it doesn't mean the snake needs to move away. They can adapt patience and now today we still have cobra in the city. Cobra can have various body coloration and various body patterns and also various food body shape. But every cobra has the same characteristic that when they are pregnant, they can lift the head up like this, expand the white hood with the presenting of the hood marking on the back of his hood and perform the loud warning sound. When the cobra rides, it has different biting behavior from the king cobra. These snakes are not likely to hang on. It's normally strike, bite and go, or bite and escape, and it takes only the little amount of the venom. So, but okay, but is this still enough to kill the human in only a single bite tip? <coughs> The venom of this state also acts on the nervous system, so its bites also lead to paralysis, less velocity failure, okay, and also destroy the cell, lead to the cell necrosis too. Okay, and now please notice that these two cobras always keep an eye on the snake handler and keep striking at him for all the time. But the cobra not strike me, even I stay closer. Okay. So, it's like, hello! <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. But that's scary. Okay. okay, so do you know why what the snake shows only him? Not me. I did my chai, I have a lot of I have many food, I have a lot of food, I have a lot of food. The snake not attack me, it is very simple. Because the snake not attack the one that's more handsome. <laughs> do you agree? <laughs> No, just kidding. <laughs> the, the fact is, the snake has a very bad eyesight. It normally detects the moving object. And especially when the cobra lift the head up like this, they can see only in the front. So when our snake has a ball pass, they return follow him to keep it straight forward. So the best way to conform with the snake is to stand only still. And when the snake cannot see you, and when they feel sad, they will escape from you naturally. So this is just a defensive behavior. Okay, let us take some rest. We will move to the next species. Okay, so that's on the end. 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 มีครับครูสามเหลี่ยมมีพิษกัดถึงตายนะครับแล้วทำไมจับได้แบบนี้เอามาในมือเลยไม่ใช่เพราะเบื่อโลกนะฮะมีสาเหตุอื่นนะครับเดี๋ยวมาดูกัน This snake is the bad and great So could you please tell me the bad and great venomous or non venomous Venomous definitely This snake is a deadly venomous snake of Thailand so why he can handle a deadly venomous snake like this? Why look so simple? Because he crazy. <laughs> crazy? No, okay, just kidding. Because this in the day time like this, it is not so active. This we can handle it gently and steady, and the snake may not bite him. May not. So if this gets hurt or nervous, it still has a chance to turn around and bite him immediately too. And it's used to happen before during the demonstration like this. And last time, it just last three months. <laughs> but don't worry, if this happened today, he will not dead. Because the hospital is over there. <laughs> Take care. Play the same color pattern, let that lead to confusing among them. So today, this uh, so this is one of our examples today. This is the mangrove cat eye snake. These two snakes have the same color pattern that is alternate black and yellow coloration. But when we put them together like this, they don't look so alike. But in the in the real situations, 
When the people confront with this thing, the first sensation is panic. And when you panic, you cannot remember all detail. You just say black and yellow. So without enough detail, we cannot differentiate between them, even though they look different. With the mango cat eyes, this snake has more black than yellow. With the plain coloration of the belly, long and pointed tail, while the banded crane has the same proportion of black and yellow. With the banded pattern on the belly, short and blunt tail. Okay. And the important thing is the venom. Banded crane is deadly venomous, while the mangrove cat eye is not deadly. So it is important to know which one is the crane, is deadly one, and which one is cat eye snake, is not deadly. Cat eye snake found in the mangrove forest in the southern part of Thailand. This snake spends most time of its life on the tree, so called arboreal snakes. One of interesting characteristics of the arboreal snake is its tail that can help it hang on the branch or hang on the object, so called the prehensile tail. Mangrove cat eye snake also has fangs, but its fangs is a small, tiny fang located deep inside the upper jaw, so called the back fangs or the non front fang snakes. The group of back fang snakes has only mild venoms, so we consider this not medically important. But anyway, we have one exception in Thailand. Its name, the late snake back snake is a deadly backpack snake that can be found here and we don't have it any the venom. <laughs> the banded rat snakes, it is a non-venomous snake, is very helpful to our ecological system because this snake is a very good rat and mice hunter. And the rat and mice not only destroy the agricultural products, but they are an important vector of any zoonotic disease like the rectospirosis. So the non-venomous snake that can get rid of the rat gliders is important to our ecological system. But now the population of this snake is decreasing very fast. That's because of many factors, including many people like to eat them. I say it's delicious. Okay. But anyone try, I can lose my job. Okay. <laughs> the second thing is the illegal exportation to the other countries and the last thing destruction of its habitation by deforestation and city expansion that made these things have to be classified to be the protected animals of Thailand Okay, we back to some action for one last time with complicated rat snakes Okay, I go Okay This snake found in the lowland area mainly in the paddy rice field It is a very nervous snake It's mostly time to escape from the enemy if it cannot escape, it will turn around and fight back. Moon have a power and have the copper head rat snakes also important to the ecological system because this snake is a very good rat and my son too. Okay. Okay. But it's also face the same problem that its population is decreasing because the same reason that people eat them, exploitation and destroy its habitation. And now this good chance to handle the snake by yourself, okay? We're going to bring out, okay, a Burmese python. And this is a Burmese python. This python born in our snake farm. And now it's five years old and get used to the human. So if anyone wants to take a photo, a photo with a snake or want to handle the snake like this, please queue up over there, okay? We'll come to take a photo with the snake. Don't worry, it is safe for you and it is free of charge, okay? Don't worry, please try. Okay. Before you take the photos, receive the hand sanitizer from our snake handler. Come in the center, take the photo and go this way.